What's up guys, I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the best hand cannons, specifically because Bungie announced in a recent twid that hand cannons would be getting a substantial buff in the upcoming patches to make them more useful in PvE. So I'm gonna be going over the top five hand cannons that are still obtainable today in game as of season 21. I'll also be going over all of the perk combinations that I recommend for each of the hand cannons and if there are any builds that synergize with the weapons. So without any further delay, let's get straight into today's video. At the number 5 spot we have the Ias Luna. The Ias Luna is an adaptive frame stasis hand cannon that can be farmed from the grasp of Avarice Dungeon on the Cosmodrome. This is a fantastic stasis hand cannon that rolls with some amazing perks. Honestly, it's hard to get a bad roll on this weapon. Seriously. In column 3, you can roll Rapid Hit, Perpetual Motion, or Outlaw, and in column 4, you can run Headstone, Demolitionist, or Kill Clip. My personal favourite with this weapon is to roll Unrelenting and Headstone together when using a Stasis Crystal build. If you're looking for a more general purpose hand cannon, any of the other perks I mentioned work fantastic together. Coming in at number 4, we have the Epochal Integration. The Epochal Integration is a solar adaptive frame hand cannon given to players after completing the Lightfall campaign. It has a set roll, so you don't need to go hunting perks, and it's a pretty solid set of perks. Because this weapon is so easy to obtain, I have included it. Most Lightfall players will already have it, but if you don't own the Lightfall DLC, you're out of luck on this one. If you are interested, here are the perks that are on it. In column three, we have Keep Away and Stats for All, and in column four, we have Eye of the Storm and Incandescent. Basically, if you're running PvP, use the top perks, and if you're running PvE, use the bottom perks. Hitting enemies with Incandescent should also proc stats for all, counting the damage dealt to enemies through the explosion. This hand cannon works great for solar scorch builds. Top three now, number three is the good old Fatebringer. The Fatebringer is an old Destiny 1 favourite and when it returned to Destiny 2, it was no different. The Fatebringer can be farmed from the Vault of Glass raid in the Legends tab. The Fatebringer is an adaptive frame kinetic hand cannon that rolls with a great set of perks, making it a contender for both PvE and PvP play. Rolling with perks like Osmosis, Rewind Rounds, Explosive Payload, Killing Wind in Column 3, and Column 4, Frenzy, Kill Clip, Firefly, Adrenaline Junkie, Opening Shot, and Eye of the Storm. In the fourth column, you really can't go wrong with what perk you pick up. My personal favourite is Explosive Payload and Firefly together to bring back the original Fatebringer from Destiny 1 into Destiny 2. Grab your raid team together and get farming, as this weapon is not craftable at the time of filming. If you don't have a raid team to farm the Fatebringer, the spare rations from the Season of the Deep is very similar. It can roll with some great perks, and I did a full video on how to farm the spare ration and what perks to look for, and I'll put that in the cards now. The number two spot goes to the Nation of Beasts. Season 21 brought a refreshed Nation of Beasts to the perk pool and added some newer perks to the table. This arc adaptive frame hand cannon is essentially the energy version of Fatebringer. Being able to roll with explosive payload and dragonfly, you can basically duplicate the Fatebringer in the energy slot. However, being an arc weapon, it can also roll with Vault Shot in column four. So you can roll Dragonfly Vault Shot for some some extra ad clear. In column 3, it has some great perks like Dragonfly, Opening Shot, Keep Away, Perpetual Motion, and in column 4, Explosive Payload, Kill Clip, Vault Shot, Golden Tricorn. A great energy hand cannon for both PvE and PvP, and if you have a raid team, I would look at farming Last Wish. Especially as this weapon is craftable, you'll be able to get exactly the perks you're looking for, and while Last Wish is the weekly raid, farming the first boss, Kelly, is incredibly easy. And the number one slot goes to Zaoli's Bane. Zaoli's Bane is an adaptive frame solar hand cannon and can be focus farmed from the King's Fall raid, and it can also be crafted. This fantastic hand cannon can roll with some solid perk combination However, most importantly, you can run incandescent on it, making it perfect for solar scorch builds. So let's take a look at the perks you want to craft on this weapon. In column three, the best perk easily is explosive payload, but if you are using a melee build, pugilist isn't too bad either. In column four, incandescent is great for a scorch build, but if you're not looking to run a scorch build, you can also put on one for all, demolitionist or firefly. Now I am going to include the Ikelos hand cannon version three, as an honorable mention. A precision frame hand cannon, I personally don't enjoy the rapid fire hand cannons for PvE, however this is probably the best void hand cannon obtainable in the game right now, and I suspect that next season we will get an adaptive frame void hand cannon, but 
we'll have to wait and see what season 22 drops next month. While not my favorite archetype of hand cannon, the Ikelos version 3 does have some pretty decent perks and is a craftable weapon. Rolling with perks like subsistence, triple tap, rapid hit, and stats for all in the third column, and frenzy, golden tricorn, one for all, and rampage in the fourth column. It can be used as a great weapon for a void volatile build for smashing through enemies. And that's all for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed. Make sure you get farming a few of these hand cannons before the big hand cannon changes. If you want to connect with me, my Twitter, Discord, and Twitch are all linked in the description below. Until next time, happy gunslinging, Guardian.